Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at some performance increases and the render quality of ARMS running on Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. So as you can see at the start of the video, when the game boots for the very first time, it is quite poor performance wise. It was running around 6 to 7 to to 10 FPS in and around, very low FPS numbers in this 60 FPS title. But once we get to this main screen where we have to press L and R on our controller, you can see that performance has ironed out and we're getting 60 FPS at 100% game speed. Now, at the minute, shared fonts are not being rendered in Yuzu Emulator, but you can see that we can interact with practically all of these tabs. Okay, so we're just going to select this second from top and we're going to select... No, we don't really want to do any of these mini games, so I'm just going to put us into a straight fight. So, when we load through menus, you can see that you get performance drops, but it's not too drastic considering when you get into the next menu, performance just goes back up to like 60 or 59 or 60 FPS. You can also see that when you're selecting or moving between the different characters and the different stages or arenas or whatever you want to call them, you can also get performance drops, but generally in most of these menus it sticks in and around 55 or 60 frames per second for me. Now, in loading screens for some reason, and I'm guessing it's just an optimization issue, there is quite low performance. You saw that we were dropping down to around 14 or 15 frames per second, but as soon as it actually gets to the fight intro, you can see the performance has jumped back up to the low to mid 30s or it sometimes goes down to like 24 or 25 but i think that's in in some way related to like it's not shader stutter but i have no other way to really explain it to you it's like every time you see a new effect i know it's not shader stutter but it's something very very similar to it so you can see that in fights and in actual gameplay the render quality is obviously not perfect but it's still pretty good considering how young this emulator is and the fact that this is actually a Nintendo Switch exclusive game and it's actually running at fairly decent performance of around anywhere between 25 and 45 frames per second. Now audio wise it's not terrible but it's muted in this video for a reason because it is a bit ear rapey so I didn't want to have to include it on the video but um, it's not terrible and it generally is not that the audio quality is bad it's just that when the frame rate is dropping down to like 20 and it's a, when it's a variable frame rate that runs between 20 and 45 ish frames per second it's just very very distracting and it's a really annoying sound here and I just didn't want to include that in the video I wanted to more so have this video not concentrating on audio quality and more so concentrating on how the game is running and how the game is currently looking so that if and when it improves in future we'll be able to use this video as a comparison for that so performance wise it's actually not too bad at all it's quite playable at these kind of frame rates to be honest and considering it's not exactly what i would consider a fast paced fighting game it's um it's actually quite manageable to play the game now you are definitely going to notice the little stuttery pauses that happen and as i said at the midpoint of this video it's in some way related to something like shader cache stutter that you may have seen in emulators like rpcs3 or simu emulator other emulators i've covered on the channel but i don't think at this point in time it's anything related to shader caches or anything like that i know that they are currently going to be implementing some shader cache stuff and i know in the past few days that they did actually implement sort of an experimental caching system. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm gonna to have to ask the developers if I ever get the chance, but there are currently no transferable or pre-compiled shader caches like you may have seen in other emulators, like I said, RPC S3 or CMU. So yeah, this is pretty much how the game runs. And in some arenas, the performance basically stays in and around 30 or 40 frames per second. And there's one arena where you are on these little hovering carts. I can't remember the name of the arena right now offhand. In that arena, I was generally staying above 40 frames per second at all times. So I'm pretty sure that your performance is going to vary depending on which arena you are fighting in. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this uh, this quick little video on ARMS running on Yuzu the Nintendo Switch emulator. As I said, I want to make these short little videos that shows graphics and performance so that in future when we get 
improvements to both performance and render quality in games, we'll have these kind of videos, or at least I'll have these kind of videos to come back and reference to see, okay, so this is how it ran in build whatever, Canary 966 or 996, as is the case in this video, and uh, we'll be able to do a visual comparison between the two different versions of the emulator. So once again, guys, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.